What's going on guys, my name is Joshua Daniel George and for those of you that are new to the channel, I own a social media marketing agency here in the Netherlands. We've built it up to six figures and you know we are well on our way to hitting that seven figure mark. And I am also the host of Lifestyle Design Mastery, which is basically like an online ecosystem where I show you guys how you can start your own social media marketing agency from scratch without prior investment or experience, how to start it, how to automate it, how to scale it, and how to live life on your own terms. And in this video, I basically wanna be talking about the value follow-up because more often than not, you will notice that the very first message you send out won't actually get a reply okay and then you basically need to find a way to stay in contact with this business owner and you know to grab his attention and make sure that um you know whether or not you've had that first you know meeting or conversation yet you know you, you stay in touch with this person okay so let's just take the scenario where um, we've had the first meeting but we haven't closed the client okay so in between that period we need to basically follow up with the client and see you know if there's any way of closing the deal or in his business and when i started out my standard message i actually had a template of it i thought it was like the best message ever it was basically hi name hi john um you know i haven't heard from you in a while just giving you a quick uh, follow-up you know to see if you've got any more questions or if there's anything else that can help you um, you know going forward with kind regards Joshua George and I thought okay that is a great message you know it's 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 simple it's neat it's clean it's professional and I send that to quite a lot of clients after the initial meeting and you know as you can expect not a lot of replies or reply was I'll get back to you uh, you know as soon as possible I'll let you know in the near future okay and the reason for that is because it doesn't say anything okay like now because I've been in this industry for about three, four years now, I am also getting messages like that from people pitching me ideas. Um, like the other day, I got an idea for someone that was wanted to create an app and he wanted me to invest in it. And, you know, I didn't reply to the first message. And then I got a second reply uh, or a second message from the same guy saying, um, you know, haven't heard from you since my first message. Let me know if you've got any more questions about the idea. I would love to, you know, get in contact. And, you know, it doesn't entice me to reply at all. And that is the same way the business owner is thinking as well when he sees your message, okay? So you need to think of a way to get this business owner to, you know, reply to the message. And with a generic message like that, asking if he's got any questions, you're not gonna get that reply or you're not gonna even get him to, you know, click on the email or even read it. Okay, so you need to be creative with the follow-up and the best way to do that is by providing more value. Okay, so what you can do in this uh, situation is uh, send him a case study, okay? Obviously not a case study from someone um, that is in your country because chances are you actually lose the client to that business but send them a case study of something that is relevant you know to his industry so let's say it's um, you know it's a real estate um, company or client then you can send them a real estate case study from a different country okay so if he's in London send them a New York case study of how someone was able to generate um, you know so many sales in such a small amount of time okay so don't just send them a random case study, send them something that is valuable to him and basically tailored towards his business, okay? This this doesn't have to be a case study, by the way, guys. It could be an article, it could be a video that you see. As long as it's relevant and informational and it's valuable to the client, you'll notice that you'll get a much higher response rate than just asking them, you know, if you've got any more questions, let me know. Okay, another like basically a creative way of following up with clients is by getting the client to follow you on instagram and um i'll probably next week i'll, I'll film like an entire video on how you can leverage your personal brand to get social media clients but if you get the business owner to follow you on instagram or whatever platform you're most active on and you know for me instagram is the main platform you know apart from the facebook group um but you know if i if i send my instagram page to the client, the client will look at it or he'll probably follow it. And then basically, I don't have to do any more following up because my Instagram page, my Instagram stories will build that top of mind awareness with that client. Why? Because I'm very active on it. And you know, every single time he goes on Instagram, he will see my Instagram stories, he will see me, you know, in meetings, he will see me, uh, you know, doing stuff on the business, working on the business. He'll see all like the agency and you'll see behind the scenes, etc. And that is basically how you can create a top of mind awareness 
with the client. Okay, guys. So like I said, rather than sending a generic email of, you know, um, have you got any more questions or anything like that? Send more value. Okay. Send a case study, send a competitor analysis, um, you know, get their website and, and, you know, um, pull it through a SEO scan or, um, a speed test or anything like that. Like, even though you're not, you're not doing anything with website development, just because, you know, the fact that you're going the extra mile will, you know, will basically get the client more and more interested in your service. Cause you can just send them an email saying, um, Hey John, hope you're doing well. I um, you know ran your website through um, a speed test, and I noticed that it takes six seconds for your website to load. Let's say it's e-commerce, and um, you know this could have an effect on the amount of traffic that we can send from social media to your web shop. You know something along those lines, and you'll notice that because you're being creative with it, because you're adding more value your response rate will increase. Okay guys, so like this video if you got something out of it, comment down below what you'd like to see for my channel next, subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.